Today we're taking a look at the official comic adaptation of the Warner Brothers motion picture, Batman Returns. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Ed and TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Alright guys, as I said today we're taking a look at the official comic adaptation of the Warner Brothers motion picture, Batman Returns. By Dennis O'Neill, Steve Irwin, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, with Tom McCraw. Uh, as you remember, last time we took a look at the 89 Batman uh, comic book adaptation of the movie. Now this is Batman Returns. There's a nice little uh, movie poster there. Got Penguin's Origins here. Uh, first, let's take a look. This is a lot different than the 89 Batman comic. It's uh, still, it's not in great condition. This was part of my wife's collection. Uh, she kind of let me have it, I guess you could say. Uh, Batman Returns, O'Neill, Irwin, Garcia Lopez, McCraw, DC Comics. And the back there, got a film strip of the uh, Batsky, uh, the Penguins, Batman, Catwoman, and Shrek. Um, Penguin. And the Batmobile in alley mode. And then at the bottom here, I uh, kind of got a cut off of Alfred in the Batcave. And then Penguin, Catwoman, and the Penguins. No, if you <clears throat> open it up, it's, you know, it's supposed to be one picture. But not bad. The artwork is very nice. It, the pages are a lot glossier than the uh, than the '89 Batman uh, comic book adaptation. Um, <clears throat> they tried to keep with the same art style, though, to really capture the look of the uh, actors who portrayed the characters. And I do like, in this, uh, Catwoman and Batman's costumes actually look like they do in the movie, as opposed to the 89 Batman uh, comic book adaptation, which didn't really look like leather like the movie had it. Uh, they gave it a little bit of a shine. So... I always liked the uh, Bat Glider. Um, that was a very iconic scene. I remembered seeing it in the uh, in the trailers for Batman Returns, and just I was amazed by it. Uh, it was very cool. And eventually, uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman kind of drew inspiration from that scene. But it's not bad. Uh, I think the later uh, movie ad comic book adaptations of uh, the movies, like Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, uh, became multi-issue deals, where they would only uh, do part of the movie and comic book adaptation, and have like, sorry about that, guys, and have like three issues so you have to buy each issue and they wouldn't release them all at the same time uh, so that you know you'd have to go see the movie first if you wanted to see the ending or whatever uh, but yeah there's that the official comic book adaptation let's check the ending see if they showed Max Shrek and his uh, crispy looking face. No, they do, however, show the scene where Catwoman electrocutes him. But they shy away from actually going into uh, 
zooming in on Max's face. Like, uh, like the movie actually showed it, but the comic didn't. Because they, I guess they kind of knew that younger readers might check this out. So, and it doesn't look like it's part of the comics code. So they, I guess they could have included it. But they didn't. And this scene here uh, was a sp uh, was supposed to lead into the Catwoman spinoff movie. However, because of delays and everything, that ended up being that piece of crap Halle Berry Catwoman movie. That. Uh... But there you have it, guys. You could originally buy this for five ninety five US, six ninety five Canadian. Uh, I'm not sure how much it's worth now. Probably not a lot. Uh, I wouldn't imagine movie adaptation, comic book adaptations of movies, are worth very much more than the original price. We'll go ahead and uh, compare it to the 1989 Batman official comic book adaptation right here and as you can see uh, they're pretty close to the same thickness uh, Batman Returns is a little bit thicker because you know this has this is paperback this is more cardboard so not bad if I still had my Batman Forever comic book adaptation, uh, I would certainly review it next. But sadly, that is long gone. So anyway, there you have it guys. The official comic adaptation of the Warner Brothers motion picture, Batman Returns. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.